Welcome to Sharif Fletcher's The Take. Today on our show, we'll be discussing responsibilities. Okay. I need some more wine anyway. <laughs> so we. Oh, we'll put it on the back. They, if they ain't giving us nothing, we ain't giving oh, no, them. Like, we had to buy that shit. That. Turn it around. We had to buy it. We had to buy it. Turn it around. Turn it oh, around. That's why you had to turn it around. <laughs> but I mean, maybe we'll, if we tell them, they'll We're send us stuff. Without permission. Yeah. Uh, what yeah, we don't want no trouble. Don't want we don't want no trouble. All right. Welcome to Sharif Fletcher's The Take. Today on our show, we'll be discussing responsibilities. excited about today's show. Today's show, we're going to talk about responsibilities. Mm. And responsibilities really encompass a lot. There are responsibilities that are very, very clear, you know, that mm. are, we, we call those the seen responsibilities. Like, we know we ain't supposed to be lying, telling no lies. <laughs> you know, and that's something that we all agree on. But what about the more ambiguous ones, the unseen ones, you know, that, that's kind of left up to the moral code and the law in our heart and, mm. you know, expectations. Mm. So it's going to be a good show. But first, I got to introduce all these fabulous people Hello. to my left, to my left, mm. to my immediate left, I have the gorgeous. Miss Stacy Ike, and, and Stacy is like she's my millennial me. <laughs> yes, yes. And then to her left, I have my male me, like who that. who who insisted on wearing that hat. <laughs> Anyway. She's like, you're off today. Look, look, Demetrius, Demetrius Jones. Demetrius comes with a hat today. So it's, it's, you know. We Gucci. Right. Rocking hey. It's just a hat to me. It's, it's just I look, hat. And look, I love it's it. Y'all don't see, but he got a, a matching red belt, which is yes, just fabulous. Right. Fabulous, honey, oh fabulous. God. And then we have, you know, Miss Courtney. Miss Courtney. Hi, guys. Stewart, who is my militant. <laughs> she gonna give it to you real. Yeah. So hostile. And that's yeah. what we do with the take. We're gonna actually present all of our takes, mm. and uh, we're gonna keep it popping, keep it fresh, mm. and keep it fun, and keep it raw. Mm. We're gonna keep it raw. Yeah. Okay. So, what's popping? What's poppin', <laughs> what is popping? Okay, yeah. first off, I wanted to call this segment Wait a Minute. But Sharif right. made right. me. How you even spell that? Must be wait a minute. Right. Wait a minute. It would really hold on. Wait a minute. But anyway, okay. This is what's popping in, in yeah, regards poppin'? to responsibilities. We're talking about responsibilities to uh, your mate, sexual partners. Yes. There's a baseball player <laughs> by the name of Edwin. How do, how you say that? In Encarnacion. Encarnacion. Who's being face, sued though. for battery. <laughs> Uh, for giving a sexual partner, allegedly giving a sexual mm. partner, two STDs. Ooh, Lord Jesus. Uh, so we have to ask ourselves, what responsibility do you have to a uh, um, partner to reveal? Yes, <laughs> to yes, reveal. yes, yes, yes. But you know assuming what assuming yeah, he, ha he did this, he may not have done this, right. because he it's said, alleged. It's and alleged. he said that to the young young woman who brought this to him, that maybe she contracted the SCDs. According to her, he said this, while they were swimming or four-wheeling. I'd have punched him in his face. Now, is what that was swimming or yeah, four-wheeling? come on. That's the that's swimming what, part was That's what Edwin said. Wait, disrespect. do we know what STDs they are? Yes. What are they? Uh, according to two. TM, not TMZ, another newspaper there, it's Chlamydia and Ooh. General 
herpes. Okay. Well, let me tell you, the chick, um, now this I, I was by her own admission that she had been with one of his other teammates. So I would think that the responsibility that you have as an adult female who, I'm not going to judge, if you want to have sex with, you know, whomever, that's on you. But why wouldn't you protect yourself? If she you know said that she got she, checked up after, right after her team. Well, she said she was obviously clean. she wasn't, she didn't make him protect himself. That's what I'm saying. Okay, protect okay. yourself gotcha, gotcha. by telling him gotcha. to wear some type of, you know, condom yeah. or something. Yeah. You know, just so, right. I mean, why wouldn't you do that? Now, right. keep in mind, if these are all this casual dating, sex. Like, right. were they just hooking she up? She said she had like, been I involved think they were with a relationship. Up. No, I since think they were hooking up. That's well, since 2013, she she claims that she was friends with him and his family. Okay, but so you weren't his close. girlfriend. Like, no, you weren't not yeah. the girlfriend. Like, what you like thought was, with, was a monogamous exactly. relationship. And it's been with his friend. Okay, yeah. Right. Well, well, also keep in mind, these are the types of STDs that a guy would know that he they had. had. Yeah. Chlamydia, you not would know if you... Chlamydia. Men don't always well, what's the symptom? That. What's the, the male symptom sure. yeah. of, of chlamydia? <laughs> the herpes. Like, what's the male symptom? I, I don't know I, what the symptom is. I've never is. had a, a but you STD. Heard, but, but your friend like, told you. I think it's I pain. I hard on chlamydia. <laughs> I think it's pain. A lot of people, chlamydia, men don't necessarily know or have okay. symptoms of chlamydia. Mm, the women damn. usually find okay. out and then have to go back to their partners. Well, then, maybe he didn't know. If he did. But he knew if herpes... He knew herpes. So he passed I herpes mean, on to Yeah, he girl? said too. Lord have and she's sure, And she's sure it was both. From, well, you know, we don't know if she's sure, but I yeah. think it's. It's just, yeah. I don't know. It seems yeah. kind of cut and dry that you kind of should tell someone. Of course. If you do. Would you? If you happen to have STD. But, but why would you even be having sex, though? See, but that's that's what, the hard part that. about it. I mean, you get an STD and what, you never have sex again? I'm sure, no, like, no, what no, happens? No, no, no. Why, why would you be I having mean, sex? Now, now that's herpes, what, that's, no, herpes is, I guess that's a little different, because that's something that you keep for ever. ever. Mm -hmm. yeah. But if you have chlamydia, I would imagine you want to wait until of that course. cleared up of before course. you... He, didn't, he may not have He known. may not have known having chlamydia. Oh, Okay. For sure. Like, he could definitely not know. And maybe he hadn't had a breakout of the herpes. Maybe he, like, just got the herpes and he passed on the yeah. virus because you can mm. have the virus and not actually yeah. pass, so what, realize that. Does, does she have a, a case? Out. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. What I, happens if you There have been other celebrities, really I don't want to run down the list, who've been sued for, for this and they settled out of court. I su suspect he would probably, if... If it's true, mm -hmm. or if he just doesn't want to, you know, go forward, he might decide to settle out of court. Would mm -hmm. it have to be knowingly? Like, they have That's to have proof that he had been to the doctor and been diagnosed and was aware that he had an STD for it to have a case, for her to have a case? I but would have if, to see her complaint. I if it's that easy, yes. heck yeah, she wins. Yeah, like, yeah. what the heck? And she's suing him for what? Like, 11 million? Yeah, it's million for battery. Dollars? Battery is battery, what they call yeah. an intentional tort, so he does have to know. Um, oh, wow. no, that's interesting. That I, is interesting. There's another situation that's going on in the media that's not similar to this, mm -hmm. but a little less cut and dry that I'm, I'm curious about, you know, how you all feel about it, with uh, Nate Nate Parker mm -hmm. and his... Uh, I love Nate Parker. Okay. Yeah. Nate Parker has a great movie that coming out that I think is going to do really well called Birth of a Nation. Yes. And oh. he was also charged along with the... Um, Co, I don't want to call him the co-writer, but the guy who helped come up with the story with rape, mm -hmm. like years ago. And allegedly, what happened? Long story short, um, he had sex with a young lady, and his roommate also had sex with the young lady. And Nate had had sex with her before too, and they were both acquitted. But it got me to thinking because I've been well, having the one was sentenced first. Yeah, the <laughs> one was, was so convicted. the friend was the convicted. friend was convicted wow. and spent six months, and then he appealed it and got out. So mm. a lot of uh, anti-rape advocates yes. and uh, journalists have been bringing this up since he got seventeen million dollars. That's for the thing; they brought it up. Oh, after and, and after the after fact, and it day. doesn't it doesn't take off, yes. it doesn't take away from what happened at all. But it's just so interesting how that always. Well, I'm case. wondering if and I bring a young woman. Statute limitations? No, well, he's apply? not going to be prosecuted for this. This okay. is the this it's is just social. Okay. Uh, interesting, but I'm wondering yeah. if I bring a woman to my my home, drunk or not. Do I let her have sex with someone else? Like, what is my responsibility in that situation? That's a great question. And and, and it hit me when, because I knew we were going to uh -huh. talk yeah. about this. Yes. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's, what it's was her that, what vagina. Was the she can again? do what she wants to do what with it. What was the question it. again? Protection. What's my responsibility to protect someone that I'm having sex with? Yes. If, if she comes to my home, if she's a little tipsy, or she's not, gotcha. she's like, oh, I want to sleep with him now. 
Is that should Ooh. I even let her do that? That's because you're here one. with me. That's such a good question. Yeah, that guys. is a good question. Wow. What would you do? Because if she's not out, what would you do? What would you do, what would you do Demetrius? Yeah, I told good. you, it's it's her. It's, hard, it's her vagina. Right? So you no, let you let your friend hit it. Not if she's been drinking. Kick it out. Not if she's been it's drinking. It's not worth it. Yeah, if she has not been drinking, it. it's, not probably, it. it's, it's between him and her. Yes. But if yes. she's been drinking, I'm not about to do that. But mm. what's your defense? If, I, if, if I'm if i drunk as a skunk, I go to your room, mm. and I hook up with you, and then I want to hook up with your friend, and you, you, you've you got this, you feel like, okay, there's a moral responsibility here. What should I do? She's been drinking. I, I'm going to let it ride. Like... We all got a phone. I would record it. But I'm it. saying, what can I? But I'm saying, what you can I her do? What, I, I tend to. What's talk, my What's my defense if I if if I say, oh my God, I was drunk. Why did you let that happen? Can I really legally go after you? No, well, not necessarily. I mean, if unless, I made the decision, not for what you do with someone else no. with me. In this case, she went. She filed charges against both, both of them. Correct. Because she was saying that she was drunk the whole time and that she had not consented to sex with either of them because she oh, was too drunk. Goodness. Yeah. Who got who got her drunk, I wonder? I so know. so that's a different situation. College, if, honey. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, so wait, about, how, yeah. where did they meet? I'm sorry. In college. I, so yeah. this was back in the day. Yeah. This was they in they were all the same age. They were though. about 19. Both of them yeah. were 19, okay. 20 years old. It's like, yeah. Was friend, it like 17 wrestlers. years ago? Yeah, it was 1999 or something mm. like that. Okay, so now as a woman, yes. I <clears throat> like I definitely don't want to take away from what happened, but as just a person who's like confused and I, why yes. why are we talking about it now? Because he got paid. Is that why you're mad? I mean, I don't want to say that. I'm just so trying to ask. Say, wait, wait, wait. First even, off, she's dead. She is dead. She committed suicide. 10 years ago? Oh, five that's years ago? tragic. Yeah. yeah, at 30 years old. Oh, my gosh. Um, and her brother has been speaking out, saying he, she was never the same after all this happened. Because there was a whole situation. Like, she felt like she was stalked on campus after it happened. Oh, they were gosh. harassing her. Tragic. Like, Penn State gave her a big settlement. Not a big yes. settlement. They oh, gave her a settlement. No. And whatever. So, okay. I mean, yeah, it was a lot. Like but I think it's funny because you keep bringing up like, oh, now we now we know about it and mm -hmm. whatever, and it's media and it's giving all attention. And like, my first impression is that feeling like, oh, here we go. He finally did something good. Right. Now they're gonna bring up all the dirt in the past. I mean, if he did it, he did it. But at the same time, that's the platform you put yourself on. You know, you got dirt in your past. We, I mean, it was. But on, everybody has it, dirt And in everybody the past. has it. But if you put yourself out there as a public figure, it's we gonna come out up. when it matters. Do, but when do it you becomes really? financially viable for the media okay. to care about it. That's interesting. We're that's gonna crazy. we're gonna get into that. But let's let's move on to uh, Ryan Lock Lochte. Mm -hmm. Am I saying his name right? Yeah. Let's just say Ryan. Yeah. Now, like we said, there are responsibilities that are very, very clear. Like, we know we should tell the truth. Right. Period. We understand that. And the truth shall set you free. Mm. So what do we think about this whole situation? Can you break it down for us? Wait, wait, no, no, we, <laughs> have, we have a clip, too. Let's let's see the clip, because this is a clip between this is so Billy Bush <laughs> and Al Roker. Oh, this is a great clip. <laughs> and it went viral. It was great. Al Roker's my dude. He's yes. so real. <laughs> He's down. Dude. He's down. <laughs> he said, we're not playing with this. And Demetrius had a really um, interesting take on this. We're waiting for the clip to be... Uh, here we go. You? Yeah. He lied to Matt Lauer, lied to his mom. He, uh, he, he left his teammates hanging while he skedaddled. He certainly right. lied about some details. No, no, he lied. No, Billy. Some details? Billy. Not there was some no details. robbery. He, okay, there was no robbery. There was no pullover. There was nothing. There, nobody there was no caught gun, a gun to his head. head. Just, he lied. Okay, calm down. Listen, if, <laughs> calm down. if a security guard is standing in front of, in front of you with a badge yeah. and is asking for money and you don't speak Portuguese. There was a translator. Right. Well, the swimmers, Jimmy Fegan said there wasn't. So it's there's a but different the fact story. Is, but but someone's saying you'll give he, me money or you can't leave. He lied. Sure, he embellished. No, that no, no, no. Money, he money didn't unwillingly embellish. came out of his pocket. He lied. Oh. They were, they were knocked. He, he said they were, they were. Their car was hit. That's not true. That's that a lie. <laughs> well, Gun to the head is a, a dirty hairy moment. Is a lie. That didn't happen. They weren't so side So he created swipe. all of these moments to make himself look like, okay. mm, you but, know, but, I, I scared <laughs> them down. And I said, well, it's a dirty, hairy moment. Look, you, you look at Mario Andrade, who's the, the real yeah. organizing guy. He said it was a terrible, you know, it, look, does he want an apology? He said, no. These are kids traveling abroad. They're great athletes. Yeah. They're great swimmers. We don't want an apology yeah. from them. Ryan I think Monty the should speak out. I think he owes the Brazilian people an apology. Yes. All right. Well, we'll, we'll agree. So. We'll, we agree to disagree. No, no, agree to disagree. Saying, we, we, we talk about. Okay. So I think Billy's like trying to agree, but I don't. Yeah. I think he's trying think, to like. I think he's trying to. He's coming from a very different perspective mm -hmm. than 
Alice, Alice mm -hmm. you know. And I think he's trying to lay out all the all the facts, but Al has already bottom lined this thing. Yeah. So Demetrius, mm -hmm. what is your it. take as I, a black man? As a as a black man from Detroit, <laughs> let me just say this: the struggle is real. I just yeah. want I, I just wish when I was thirty two that you. I was a kid. I appreciate it. <laughs> you know, Thank you, Lord. You know. I was like, well, they stop calling this man a, a child. Kid. He is thirty two years oh, old. Thirty two. Thank right, you. Thirty two. Seriously. <laughs> But he's a kid. All the news outlets, all the newspapers, they're Isn't kids, that the boys, the children, like they're just kids yeah. messing around. You are not Lies. 17, 18 yeah, years old. You're 30, exactly. 32. 32. Yeah. Grown man. So what's your take? I f I, what, look, what was I, his responsibility in that? His, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I don't believe in lying when the truth will will do. His, yes. his responsibility as, as an American, as a member of the Olympic team, was to tell the truth mm -hmm. and to not go to Rio or, or Brazil and take his white privilege with him, his entitlement mm -hmm. with him, yeah. and, and decide that, you know what, I know that people are going to believe that these brown people would do this, mm. so this is the lie that I'm going to tell. I, I still don't understand why, why? He, he would do it, mm. but I, I felt as if not only should he, uh, he should because people in that clip we didn't get to it they made a big deal he lied to his mother yeah that's cute and all but he lied on an entire country mm. that was attempting to change its brand and spent a lot of money to do so and once you did that mm. it made it seem like it, it took the safe. air out the entire yeah it, yes, it took yes. all the air out of the entire country and I was surprised by it when I, at first I believed him, but I was surprised by it because typically when the Olympics happens, mm -hmm. if it, or any type of sporting event in a country that's unsafe, you don't really have these problems because the powers that be take care of all the troublemakers. Mm. And so I was surprised. I was like, oh wow, they couldn't handle it. Mm. And some people won't even hear this part of the exactly. story that he lied. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, let me let me mm. ask you this, because Courtney, you said something interesting when we were um, talking about um, the, the the baseball player, uh, or no, we were talking about Nate Turner, and you talked about you're a public figure. Now, if I have a gift, I don't necessarily choose to be a public figure. My gift sometimes me. you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> okay, wait, wait, let me let me make this. I know, I know, I know. I know. Militant, I know. Militant <laughs> yeah. I know you got something to say. I know. Go ahead, yeah. But this is this is my question. Do celebrities and athletes, people with extraordinary gifts, I got a gift. I just have a gift. Do they have a responsibility to be a role model? Now let me bring it back to Ryan because he tore up the bathroom. So he, he really did some things that I'm sure he was ashamed of. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's why he felt the need to lie. Why? Now, lying is wrong. I'm not saying it's not. No, but I, 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 I'm trying to understand the why behind his decision to lie. Mm -hmm. So there is pressure. You're, you're, this, these are the Olympics. Mm -hmm. There is pressure to be a role model. Mm -hmm. You're 32. You did something stupid. Yeah, you're not a kid. You really did something stupid. So. We put a lot of pressure on on people with gifts. We do. So go ahead, Courtney, because you um, are just bouncing in your seat. We do. It's such a hard. What, too much. Who? What is the saying? To who, who much, much is, is given, given much, much is, is required. required. That's just baseline. And in this whole idea that oh, I just had this amazing gift. I didn't ask for all this. You pursued it professionally for accolades of an entire nation for a reason. It's fabulous that you had a gift, but you ain't hanging out in the community pool just swimming away, showing the kids. <laughs> like, you made a decision that you wanted to take these steps to become a U.S. Olympic winner. That means you wanted to be on a public platform. Whether or I not disagree with you that. have to stand up and be nope. the perfect person in the world, I'm not saying that. And I do believe that we put too much stock into our I public figures, so to speak. I think you're overly simplified. But I, it might be oversimplified yeah, or not. But in the end, as an yes. act, whether you're an actor mm -hmm. or a musician or what have you, there are plenty of brilliant artists that never pursue that lie for the yeah. very reason that it is the choice to whether or not I want to just be an artist okay. or do I want to become a financially viable public figure that is making money not only off of my art, 
Because you're not just okay. making your money off your art. Mm. You're making money off people Everything. around yeah. you yeah. being True. fans of you and True. subscribing to something yeah. that you have decided is a product. Okay. So to whom you decided much, to make yourself so a product. You much is given, much is required. And I'm going to mm. let you uh, speak So uh, next, Stacey. Yeah. To whom much is given, much is required. That's taken from the Bible. The Bible also says your gift will make room for you. And what happens sometimes is you have a gift, but you don't have the maturity to operate in that gift. And sometimes that's why you're a gift. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, my <laughs> old pastor would always say this. He said, the anointing will, no, the character will keep you where the anointing, anointing takes, takes you. you. So we can have this amazing gift, but the gift is separate from mm -hmm. the character to be able to really be mm -hmm. responsible for that gift. Mm -hmm. so, so why are we expecting? But, but whoa, 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 whoa. No, come on, because come on. That's, no, no, okay, wait, wait, wait. Let, let Stacy, let Stacy weigh no, in, I guess. and then y'all. You you guys are cocked, ready, and loaded. <laughs> so I, it's just we tough because it. it's it's so tough. I've had this argument so many times, and I think like I'm really, really strongly in between because as a kid, I remember thinking, especially like the Rihannas, the Beyonces, um, the Adele. I'm just thinking about people. I yes. was like, oh my, you know, I when I was younger, I remember being like, they have responsibility. I can't believe they did. That. I can't mm -hmm. believe. I can't believe. I used to say that, and then the closer I get to my dreams, mm -hmm. the more I personally am like, whoa. This is how that actually feels. Now, of course, I'm you know I'm not that mm. Rihanna lifestyle, but but just as small as as yes. awesome as we all are, people email us, Go people ahead, ask girl. us, people say, and you're like, what? I just had a gift. What? I was just, you know what I mean? It's just yes. And let me you, what we want. What I want to do right now is yeah. I want to play um, our Charles Bar Barkley clip because this was you remember this where yeah. he declared that he was not, not a, a role, role model. model. This is interesting. I am not a role model. I'm not paid to be a role model. I am paid to wreak havoc on the basketball court. Parents should be role models. Just because I dunk a basketball doesn't mean I should raise your kids. Mm. I, and I want to read this too. I don't like that though. At the end, because I during like this, this was like what I think thirteen it years was ago. A while or something. Twenty yeah, something. It was a while, was, was a while ago. After Charles was wild and out, doing a um, bunch of crazy, crazy shit. Crazy. But, <laughs> but what <laughs> happened? It, this it was very very controversial <laughs> for him to say that. And then NBA star Carl Malone. Um, quote, was quoted saying, "Charles, I don't think it's your decision to make." We don't choose to be role models. We are chosen. Our only choice is whether to be a good role model or a bad one. So I'm setting y'all up because, like I said, y'all are cocked and ready. You, you want to go, go ahead. I mean, I'm not trying to be cocked and ready. I'm but you cocked. Like, all you saying is like, and you ready? It, it's like it, that, that's almost like saying whatever I do in my day to day life, just because I'm a regular person, somehow don't matter if it affects somebody else. No, so I, like, no, if, I don't if, think if, that. If, if I'm sitting here and I decide that I'm going to go be reckless in some mm -hmm. way, shape, or form, like, as a human being, I'm a role model or have a responsibility. Like, you can label it, I don't want to be a role model. Fine, don't be a role model. You're still responsible for what your actions are, like, regardless. what the effects are yeah, of your actions. Right, yeah. So whether or not you chose it or mm -hmm. not, like, I didn't choose to be a black woman, but what I do in my everyday life does matters, affect, mm -hmm. and it does matter to the people who I interact with. Maybe not on the same scale, but, let me ask you but this. it matters. Why? Because it's interesting. I'm not saying you have to do right all the time. Our sense of responsibility usually comes comes with our upbringing and how we see the world exactly. and how we feel exactly. connected. So that's why I was saying when I was younger yes. and even now like that's why that's why I'm so I toy with this so much more because when I was in my household of conservative and Christian and which that upgrade mm -hmm. upbringing is who I am and and still believe in but that is why I had that what? How are they not doing that? How could they, you know? Yes. And then you grow up and you get a little bit older and you see a little bit more and you're like, okay, maybe yes. it's a little harder to be whatever. Because I, I get what Courtney's saying, saying, but I know, I know. I get what you're saying and I, I, I want to agree, but I... I, I do I, agree. I do I agree, no but I think there's just, I think there's just, it's just, it's just <laughs> like you idea. said, it's a little oversimplified. <laughs> but I want to say, just a little I want to say, you know, that's why we sat wanna, them together. People complicate it because it makes it easy here. for them right. to be assholes. That's like, true. That's you true. You want to make Explain it complicated that. because you want to make it easy to be a jerk. Like that's it's true. totally fine. Like Rihanna. She sat up and she said, you know what? I'm a sexual being. I smoke weed and I'm happy about it. I'm going to go do my life. She's not trying to absolve herself of responsibility that people are looking at her and 
think, expecting certain things, but she's like, this is who I am, and that's what okay, I'm going to so be. Okay, so wait a minute. So it's your choice but to sounds, be whatever you want to be. That sounds like a contradiction. No, it doesn't. It's not. Well, no, what, what? It does. Yeah. It, it does. Well, let me, no, okay. let me make my point. Okay. It does sound like a contradiction because there is a responsibility to self. To thine own self be true. So I have a responsibility to be true to who I am. Absolutely. But I also feel I do have a responsibility to my community, yeah. inner, my inner community, my family, my friends, my outer community, those people that, you know, that see me mm -hmm. um, on any platform, whatever. So I understand that. Mm -hmm. But if, if, if Rihanna is saying, I smoke weed, I'm a sexual being, I'm a sleeper who I want to sleep with, how is that... What's wrong Being with that? A ro I don't think there's anything wrong She's with just, it. She's just, I get what you're, it's okay, so let me, interesting because I totally get what you're saying. Let me say this. Really this, is the, this is the problem that I see. Everything is but fine. But no, 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 no. But y'all basically said no, no, no. that you have a responsibility if you're on that She platform. does, but this is the thing that we're missing. We're missing consequence, and that's what Stacey said at the end about your actions. The problem that I have with a lot of people just mm -hmm. in America, in the world, they don't want to face consequence. For some reason, especially in Hollywood, uh, there mm -hmm. in entertainment, there's this belief that people have an obligation to f support you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Malcolm X once said one thing, uh, <laughs> Alex Haley asked him, what should I be doing? He was like, you know what, do your best work. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to Nate Parker, when it comes to Ryan Lochte, there are a lot of anti-rape advocates out mm -hmm. there. Their best work is talking about Nate. There are a lot of journalists out there. Their best work is saying, you know what, this guy has a, a movie coming out, it's about to make history. I wonder if anyone knows about this so they have all the information. But for some reason, because somebody's doing a movie, because somebody's swimming, we think, oh, we're not supposed to bring this up because this happened that long ago. No, I'm not saying they got to be a role model. What I'm saying is there are consequences. Ryan Lochte is losing endorsements. It's a consequence. If I have money, mm -hmm. if I'm if uh, what's, if I'm Speedo, I don't want to give you money anymore. Guess what? I don't have to give you money no right. more. Period. I ain't got to talk about you being no role model, nothing. I want to give my money to a certain person, but not I you. Think, I don't think that's the point. Yeah, of course there's no, going no, to be consequences. No, no, that is the point. <clears throat> because no, he's going, that's that not, is the point. that's not the question. The are question they obligated? Yeah. Are, are, what are their responsibilities? They have none. The, they have none. But we have no choice. responsibility to support, to support them. So that's wow, how it okay, works. So now I think that's like a third. I think that's a third layer to, to what yeah, we're saying. Yeah, I think it, because, that's a whole nother show. Well, no, no, no. It's, it's it does. It's integrated into the same thing. Where does the responsibility lie on a public platform? I think right. And I and everybody's right. almost agreeing. To much is given, yes. much is required. No, well, not at all. Oh, so then you disagree what? with Courtney? No, my thing is this. No, not really. What I'm saying is they don't have to do nothing. But there are consequences to, to that. Are nothing. you ready to face that? All right. But that's there are always, but that's the thing. There are always consequences for every decision that you make. Precisely. But what I'm saying is, do you think that they are obligated? No. Is that their responsibility? Because you're obligated if you have decided, um, I'm, I'm going to take my superstar status and I'm going to align it with Nike. And Nike says that health is the way. So if I'm out doing drugs and doing all this and blah, 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 mm, I'm lying about now, what my product now is to Nike me, and to the public because I've decided, I've told the public, I'm in alignment with this and I support this for this but reason. But that's an easy one. And that, the reason being is because that's probably contractual. It's con it's not contractual. It's probably contractual. If I'm Nike and I'm giving you all this money, it's I'm not going to put in your contract no, no, that you I should agree. not be no, out no. at Tommy Burger it's or Fat Burger. It's contractual. The yes. thing is, when the ro when the person who doesn't want to be the role model, like Charles in that instance years ago, I don't know if he's changed, decides to complain about people complaining about him. That's where the rub comes in. What My was, thing is, what was you he can complain about. <laughs> well, what did he do different than Rihanna did? Because Charles actually would, uh, people would come after him and say, you know, he's throwing people out of bars, allegedly throwing people out of bars and things like that. What Rihanna said is, this is no, what no, I'm no. going we're to do. No, 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 we're not dealing with bars. We're saying him saying, I'm I am not a role model. Yeah. What is different between what he said and the fact that Rihanna says, to me, that's the fine print. I'm not a role model. I'm smoking weed. I'm a sexual being. She's basically saying, well, you know, I'm not a role model. I'm trying to do whatever I'm doing. I'm me. To do. But also, wait. The that's what she's saying. I'm, you know what? I'm what, doing what, me. What Finding just, role model as one thing. I think that's exactly like, what I'm saying. saying. I think you're now, like, that it's good and it's only not smoking weed and it's only well, not being sexual. But, but you what's, wouldn't put what's role a role model, model for you. 
a, a role model to me is somebody who's living their authentic self and doing and being honest about it and not trying to pull a wool over my head and make me think you're one thing okay. when you're something else. So if Ryan so, said, I'm but, authentically but, a liar. Um, that's he's not a, he's no, no, already no. proved he's authentically a liar. But, that's so. what, but that, what, what, what about that is not him being a role model then? Obviously, in my end, I'm like, that's not a role model. Yeah. But if you say you want somebody to be your authentically themselves and he's authentically a liar... That's, then that's, that's what he's really, saying, but that's not but what Courtney, he said all think, along this way. Do you think that's the consensus? That's do you think that no, most I don't people think would no. agree people with like, That's why that I made the caveat at the beginning that I think we put too much stock into people and uh, sports general. figures and entertainers in general. I'm not saying have these people raise your children and have your children looking up to them. I don't disagree with what Charles Barkley said about parents needing to be the role model. But the point is still, all these people run around saying, oh, I didn't sign up for this. I wasn't trying yeah. to be this. It's bullshit to me because <laughs> you went out and you took the cash and you made yourself a product so on the purpose. What it was a choice. What is the responsibility? The responsibility is to deal with whatever the backlash of that public that you no, decided no, no, to no. use to get to that well, level let's, is. Let's, 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 let's and get if they on decide the, let's, they don't like you, then they don't like you. Well, we don't want the backlash. So what is the responsibility <laughs> so I don't get the backlash? That's what I'm oh, saying. Then you right, gotta do right. what people like. But that's what I'm saying. I'm asking, what is the responsibility that, what can I do so that I don't get the backlash? Then you what do you, like, how much do I have to do I mean, I'm pretty sure there's not, like, one thing you can do because people are constantly shifting and your fan base is constantly shifting and you have to work with that. But that's the decision you made when you decided that you wanted to be a public or, figure. Or, or you can be like Rihanna. It's like, look, y'all, I'm, I'm going to do, do what I want to do. Yeah. And see, to me, it's weird, Now, now to me, I think we're saying, we're kind of saying the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Let's, let's show our, we, we've got some pictures of a, a young Justin Bieber and a young Miley Cyrus. <sighs> Look how sweet. Wow, this Ain't is they tough, cute? guys. This oh. is tough. But they cute as can be. They are cute. Well, can we, can, mad at Miley can we see them now? I'm not mad at Miley. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I like that haircut. Hair, she, she looks I like fierce. her short blonde she look, And he looks amazing. Mm -hmm. You know what? Th this it reminds me of. You remember when Chris Rock did the um, the stand up routine and he talked about Siegfried and Roy? Mm -hmm. And you, you guys know the story, how yeah. um, the tiger ate, uh, his, mauled, face ate his face off, basically, mm -hmm. mauled him and whatnot. And people say, oh, the tiger's crazy. You got to put the tiger down. And he said the tiger just went. Tiger. tiger. The tiger was crazy when he was on that little bite. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> he said that's when the tiger went crazy. So I think sometimes what we do is we put all these unrealistic expectations on people, on entertainers primarily, so people weird. in the public eye, and we expect them to be what we want them to be. These are kids being kids, but they got Demetrius. Because we had Whoa. this argument I know, but yesterday. It's real. Stop apologizing for these people. That's my no, thing. No, Stop. No. When you listen, when you do wrong, you do wrong. But I'm saying I can't be disappointed as a parent. Every time they do wrong. That's when I'm, they're yeah. kids. I can't be disappointed and even when yeah. th they decide to be a kid. But, yeah. I think but even if the when children is different. No, like, but even when they're not a kid, I think like you we can apply that last line to yes. pretty much everybody who makes a mistake because can we really be disappointed? We choose to be. And I think it's so interesting because now that I'm having this conversation with people with different experiences, like I said, it just changes the game of when I was younger, I wanted we want perfection, in a sense. Yes. You want your people that you yes. love to be perfect. We don't even know what perfect means. And it doesn't even exist. And you don't want your trust violated. You, yeah, it's weird. And so now hearing yes. these different opinions, and you're saying, okay, let kids be kids, That's that applies here, but does it apply? I mean, Ryan. Man, no, we're talking Ryan about Ryan. Lied. He lied. No, no, no. Like, like, like Al Walker said. We don't moved on from Ryan Who are we now? talking about now? I mean, we're just, I guess we're just using it all we're, we're, as in, under in, one spectrum. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead about Miley. Okay, one, okay no, if one. What what is Miley Cyrus even up no, here? What does she do? <laughs> like with Justin, Justin, if he was right here, he'd be like, I'm like, dog, she you was, know. He she would was, know. No, she was Hannah Montana. So, no, I'm telling you, for a lot yeah. of, a lot of parents, a lot of people, parents, yeah. lot of people yeah. are very discouraged that this young woman has grown up and, and, and I, this is what I feel. Let me give my take. She's being true to herself. She she's trying be. to find herself. She, she's a grown up now. She she's needs to right. be a grown up. She, and she right. has to go. She has to go through her process. Right. And I'm saying, when we right. make celebrities, because of their gift, if I have an extraordinary, uh, extraordinary gift, I don't always ask to be a celebrity. I just want an outlet for my gift. I happen to blow up. Who do you have in mind? 
Who has a gift mean? that did not you want can, to be a And that just happens have to blow up. No, there's so many people. Okay, so there's so many people. Okay, 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 no. so so many people. I'm, okay, just think, okay, let's just have a, we'll I just say Sheree. Maybe I'm confused so about what y'all are. Like, let's just say her right this, now. This is going to be the Sheree show, and Stacey show. That's no, I'm just be. saying, like, <laughs> because there's so many people. I, I yes. know you say name one, but there's no way... I mean, think of, okay, let's just think Selena Gomez. I don't know her whole life. Let's just think her. The Disney kid? No, I'm, just, I'm saying her but because her, yeah, her parents put her in that. Yes, they did. She's fabulous at it. Her parents are like, let's keep doing this. Yes. Then once her parents are bye-bye and she's by herself as a grown-up, this is the life that was chosen for her. I'm, I don't know that. I'm just using an example of, like, she was put into that because of a gift she had. Mm -hmm. Okay, then you think of somebody else who, maybe a Lupita. I don't know. I'm just mm -hmm. using example. Mm -hmm. I went to a great Lupita. school. Lupita. I love a... <laughs> Lupita, Lupita oh, beautiful, beautiful, oh, beautiful black, black chocolate, yeah, black, black woman, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Right. Or even a David O. Yellow. <laughs> I, I want to do Martin Luther King because I want to pay homage to that. Selma does amazing, you uh -huh. blow the hell up, and then what? He, okay, see, this I'm is what I'm trying to dumb it down a little a different bit. Concept. So do y'all really if think? If you are taking your gift as a professional pursuit in an industry that you specifically know, like, it, it is... That's what they do? That, that's what you're doing. Like, <laughs> you're trying to be on the TV. You're trying to be in the movies. Yeah, no, 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 like, no, whether no. Not you're like, uh, Whether or not you're there George Clooney versus, you know, the, you know, regular actor well, getting matters, guest stars Courtney. on, it does that's matter, but the, point, but the point still remains. <laughs> That guest star is still hoping that possibly I might be at George not. Clooney's status at some point. Listen. Meet an actor that says, mm, nah, I'm not trying no. to get to, you know, make I, the movie that I would love to make of my dreams. <laughs> and if I blow up, right. it happens. Can I, can I, can I, I get say something? celebrity is special and different. No, can I get something? I was married to one of the biggest yes. celebrities in the world. Mm -hmm. I mean, he wasn't when I was married to him. He is that now. But all that comes with that. Mm -hmm is not easy. I totally He agree. had no idea what was on the other side of him pursuing his musical career. He had dreams, like, let me do this. Act. They came after him for the acting. He didn't mm -hmm. even pursue that. Mm -hmm. That was something that was offered to him. Oh, let me take this avenue. Now, when I tell you that he is somebody who gets it, he understands his responsibility. Mm -hmm. He operates with a lot of grace and a lot of Voice. maturity. Yeah. But I just think he's wired in a way. When I, I look at him and I say, I, I've never met anybody who is more cut out mm -hmm. to, to be, be a celebrity. celebrity. He just has something, the grace of God, whatever it is, but he gets it. Mm -hmm. And he maneuvers through it in a very seamless and you know, graceful kind of way. Mm -hmm. But everybody who sets out to explore their gift, that's you being true to you. When you've got a gift, you've got to get it out. It's like fire in your bones. You've got to get it out. I don't think everybody says, I want to be famous. And if you do <coughs> say you want to be famous, I don't think you understand what, what that, that really means. means. I no, completely agree not. that nobody knows what celebrity is until they are it. Mm -hmm. So, like, you can't the, yes. you can't know what that experience is like until you have walked in those shoes True. because it's a whole True. other animal. Mm -hmm. But I still revert back to you can explore your gift in the sub way of New York. You can explore your gift in local theaters around the country. Okay, if so you what make if I'm in a subway? Pursuit, and, what if and I'm in get, a subway and you can and say no. You can say no. Why would I say no? But that's the point, because you're why, not, not so but if you're I just say saying no, all, because all, all you're doing is pursuing your art, you're still doing that but, in the subway. But listen, let me, let me tell you what I believe. Have made that let choice. me tell you what I believe about a gift. I believe that every gift comes with purpose. I believe every gift comes with responsibility, but my gift is not just for me. Mm -hmm. I don't believe God gives me my gift just for me. Mm -hmm. So I have to think about the world around me. So if I'm in a subway and I'm performing, and and and, and by all means, I have to support myself, mm -hmm. I have to live, mm -hmm. I've got to pay my bills, if I've got children, I have to support my family, and I have an opportunity to and do that. And my gift does that? You don't, I mean, you don't realize y'all are describing <laughs> every narcissistic person in, who has ever come to Hollywood. This gift is not for me. Oh, it's for on. you. That's and not narcissistic. You. No. That, that, that's, 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 that's not narcissistic. I, I truly believe that. Let me I, don't, the I don't see that. That's not narcissistic. Kind of way. Okay. Let me finish that's the point. Not and everybody who's in my family, all my friends, you all should sacrifice for this gift that I have well, to give to the world. That's not what she said. That is the low, your red Gucci bag. <laughs> that is right. Like, just saying. I'm like, that is not <laughs> what she that said. Is not that. There, I, okay, I, I didn't make my family sacrifice. Just for the sake of argument, let me 
can't submit this to you. No. I'm going to just submit this, this and is leave so it at because we've been talking about this for a long time. Yeah. <sighs> I will say that, for example, using the subway example, for yes. instance, you are no less affecting, you know how many people go through a subway in a day? Sharing your gift is sharing your gift. Sharing it, why does it determine that in order to continue to grow and share my gift, it needs to be in the Hollywood entertainment it's space? Not, it's not that's about not Hollywood, fair, you guys. It's, it's not, not fair. No, it's not fair. Wait, 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 Stacey, it's it's not fair. To me, it's just, I think we're, we're trying to like minimize the fact that somebody's saying, I have a gift and I want to share it. And if yes. somebody says, hey, oh my gosh, that gift is so amazing and I think you could be You can touch everyone. millions you of people. Touch, and you would say, no, because I don't want to be on platform. Okay, that's fine if you may. But I don't think when somebody says, no, I don't want to be in a platform. I don't want public. That's not. I don't think that's the first yes. thing that goes through the mind. If somebody says, say "Stacy, hey, the we want to put you on a platform," I'm like, "Oh my god, I'm going to take my family and take yes. care." That's the first thing that's going through my so mind. So your first thing that's going through your mind is business, not the elevation of your art. I just thought about family. Family is life. Like that is. But, my but that's life. business. Wait a Break that's that business. down. Break that down. No, when you say because, business and the elevation of your art. Because if it's just about the elevation and exploration of your art, then you travel around, you go out to the people, and you do that. That's fine. But if your thought is, I want to be able to take care of my parents, and I'm not saying it's a bad. Please, y'all. Yeah, you're trying to make it like to make I'm that not trying to make it like that's a I'm bad thing. I'm not saying it's bad, but I'm just saying that you're trying. You guys keep telling us that this whole pursuit of art <laughs> you doesn't guys actually exist. <laughs> Exist unless if you've given the, been given this opportunity to no, move and elevate it, why no, wouldn't no, you no, take no, it? That is I'm saying no, why you saying wouldn't that. take it is because it's not necessarily just about the business. You guys are trying to act like Hollywood is just okay. the business, just the let, art, let me, and it's not. Can I say okay, Hollywood let, is primarily say, a business? Let me say this because we do. We're talking about celebrities. <laughs> we're talking about celebrities. Celebrity we're talking is a about, business. We're talking about entertainers mm -hmm. and all that. But what about like a pastor? What exactly. about a CEO of a company? Dimitri sees it the same and, way. Oh, let, me, say, let, me, it, let me, church stop being a business? Let me tell you, no, 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 but that's not what I'm saying. Every pastor that I know personally did not want to accept the call. Yes, they I agree. Felt, so it's the same thing because you understand that people are going to put you on a pedestal. It's, it's us you, doing it, you, not you, them. Right. It's not, you're not just living your life for you anymore. Right. You, you have a much bigger audience. More eyes are on you. There's a responsibility that comes with influence because you will influence people. Mm -hmm. So then pastors and celebrities are supposed to take no, the responsibility. But, no, but what it I'm is, saying. It didn't just happen to But me. what I'm saying is. They accept the responsibility. I have to give that same um, like leeway to a celebrity. If I know pastors mm -hmm. that say, oh, God, That's I didn't want to accept the call, there are people, everybody that has a gift in the arts doesn't necessarily want to be a public figure. But when you say leeway, what do you mean? I think I think it all started with Ryan, and we're and we're trying to like articulate that there's some parts of his story that we're trying to give grace to. I, I mean, well, not, I'm just, and I'm not saying, just saying like if if we know that. Like I said, I know personally that pastors didn't want didn't want to accept the call because they understood how heavy it was and how heavy the responsibility mm -hmm. was, mm -hmm. and that's what they struggled with. Not the gift, like you want the gift, but you don't want the responsibility that comes along with the gift. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is, I can't imagine that that didn't happen to some celebrities. And you guys, it seems like you're making this blanket statement. Well, no, what it is, I'm not going to excuse the wrongs that celebrities or anyone does to say, like you know, they really didn't sign up for this. We shouldn't be that disappointed in them. No, I'm going to judge Ryan Lochte based on what Ryan Lochte did, as I would somebody on the west side of Detroit yeah. who lied as to whether or not to somebody me, tried to easy. rob him. It's easy. We agree that lying is yeah, wrong. And we no, agree no, that but no, 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 we don't. No, part. we don't who, agree who that. Who doesn't agree? I don't always agree lying is wrong. I'm not saying. I'm saying in this wrong. specific we're not instance, about social lying and was all wrong. That. But we're, we're just talking in this about situation. in this situation. There Everybody was, agrees. There, there was no reason for this. That's stupid. Right. Why did right, you do that? Mm -hmm. So right, we're, we're all in right. agreement so, on that. That's unanimous. But the reason that this is coming up, because a lot of people, uh, I forget, one of the volleyball players who won a bronze medal, Billy Bush, they're acting like apologists for this guy. Where somebody said, oh, we shouldn't crucify him. Billy Bush, oh, he just he just embellished. I'm like, no, like Al Roker, he lied. He lied. And he should face the consequences Absolutely. of that. I think we all agree on that. We, I think it's just that how it elevated to the fact that, like, you know, because I, I brought up Rihanna, and, we, yes. and she's kind of the tick for tap because yes. you're, it wasn't a I lied or this or that. She's just being herself. And That's for right. some people, 
people, they don't like it because you, she has responsibility. She's on a that's, platform. That's more and for of the others, unseen. That's, 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 that's where we, we get. No, we get right. the Ryan. Like, I think that's, 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 that's where it is. What I'm saying, there like are that. Some, exactly. There are some things that are less obvious. Mm -hmm. Like I said, when it comes to uh, being true to myself, how do I reconcile that? How can I be true to myself, but also honor my obligations? But see, what you're trying to yes, do is be true great... to yourself, but you're also trying to get those people who don't like yourself to support you. Excuse me? You're trying to be true to yourself like Rihanna. Okay, let's take Rihanna, for example. Rihanna's like, I'm going to do what I want to do, but there's some people who but don't like that. But why does she say that? Why does she even feel the need to say that? Because the people who don't like that said something about it. Right. So those people can... Because expectations. Right. And they have... It's fine for them to have those expectations. Yes. And they can decide not to buy her shit. It's that simple. Yes. And, but my thing is, people always make it seem like there's some obligation to support a celebrity's product because it's like good. It. Right. I, I may like it, but I don't like you. Yes. So I'm not gonna buy it, and that's my right. Oh, so you wouldn't buy it. So you're saying if you, if I can't look at you in a way that I can esteem you and respect you, I'm not buying your. Product. No, I was going to Vegas this weekend. Trump's you hotel is rap. cheap as hell. <laughs> I'm not staying there. I'm not staying there. I'm not staying there. This was, this was, um, this was good. It was good. It was wow. juicy. It was juicy. Now, you know what? I, let, let me tell you what. Let me give my take. My take on putting these people in the public eye on a on a platform, on a pedestal. Well, they're already on a platform, but putting them on a pedestal, I think, is a mistake. I really do. I think you. I think you're right, Courtney, to whom much is given, much is required. I do think there's a responsibility when you've got a, a major platform, but I also believe in giving grace to people as they go through their process. You know, so, mm. uh, you know, that's that's kind of my take. And parents, if you allow, you know, I mean, your kids are gonna look up to who they look up to, but I think that it's our job, like Charles said, like. We have to be, the parents have to be the role models. I have to let you know that, hey, this person, this is a kid, this is a young person, they could fall short, they could fall. And if I'm giving my child um, a, 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 a structure and I'm, I'm giving them morality and values, then I don't have to <laughs> depend on a celebrity or an athlete or a Justin Bieber to be a role model for my child. But I think in some cases, and I, I, tr I yes. mostly want to just take all that and second it, but I think in, in some cases the reason I get so defensive and weird about it is that some people don't have the luxury of a parent's figure in their life. Some people never had a mom or dad. Some people, you don't know who they ended up That's true. raising them. You yes. really don't know. So when Charles Barkley says, I ain't raising you, it's like, you might have. You have no idea. So it's it's so weird mm. because, like I said, I mm. stay so in between because I understand not where we're It's not. It's not. Of course, we're not, I'm not trying to give it to him. I just want him to understand yes. that it yes. happened. Yes. And to Courtney's point, you just going to say, I don't accept right, that? I mean, go. I don't know. We're closing Continue. in 30 yes. So do you think Charles was wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Charles, who, who's uh, side you on, Charles or Carl? Weigh in. Next. Uh, next week. Next week. <laughs> I, I have to think. I don't know. I don't Demetrius. know. Demetrius. I just want to say to the women. You don't of, have time to <laughs> say that. Let me say this really quick. To the women of America, if you drunk, let me know beforehand, before you drink it, <laughs> if it's okay if you have sex with somebody that's around me. If we, you gonna know because they're gonna fall on it. That's, that's why I'm saying. <laughs> I just want to know. That. That's why I want to know. All right, y'all. Keep up with me, Sheree Fletcher, across all media platforms. You guys can check me out on Twitter and Instagram at One Takes Days. I'm not accepting followers. I'm <laughs> following. I'm everywhere at Stuart Starlet. <laughs> Bless y'all. Thank you for joining <laughs> in. Ah! <laughs> From executives Kevin Undergaro, Dario Kristen, Tiana Hobson, and the entire BHL staff, we would like to thank you for supporting Black Hollywood Live, the first online broadcast network dedicated to African American entertainment. For questions and comments, contact us. Info at blackhollywoodlive.com. Like us on Facebook, tweet us, or Instagram us at BHL Online. And I am the official voice of Black Hollywood Live, Scipio, Instagram, at KingXOBay. Thanks for tuning in. The views expressed here are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of BHL or its owners or principals.